Yo, what's up? Yeah, is it Friday night? Yeah, uh, I can meet there. Uh, probably around five. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, uh, I'll see you then. Man, I gotta get rid of these zits. It's not gonna look good, or it's kinda too. Hello. I'm Dr. Tanya Graywall. What brings you into the office today? I've been having some issues with my acne recently, like in my neck mostly and on my face at times. And I've tried like everything and nothing's like really working. I've tried like creams, washes, facials, antibiotics, and nothing's helped. And I want to know what else can be done because I want to get rid of it really bad. Don't worry, you've come to the right place. I help patients with their acne every day. Have you tried Accutane, also known as isotretinoin? What is that? No, I've never tried that before. Isotretinoin is a pill that you take to treat acne when other medications don't work or when your acne is severe. How does that work though? I'm curious. The primary way that it works is by reducing the oil production in your skin so you will get fewer clogged pores. That, that's exactly what I was looking to hear, but uh, if I do it now, can I get rid of it by Friday? Because I got a couple events then. Unfortunately, isotretinoin takes some time to work, and most of my patients have to take it for several months. The exact length of time is usually based on your weight and how well you can tolerate this medication. What, what do you mean tolerate? I'm a tolerant person. I'm, I'm pretty much up for anything. <laughs> well, what I mean is that isotretinoin, just like any medication, has side effects, and some people can handle them better than others. My patients commonly experience dryness, that means your skin, lips, nose, and eyes may feel very dry. Also, isotretinoin makes your skin more sensitive to the sun, so you can get sunburns more easily. So moisturizers, sunscreen, lip balms, and hats are a must. Other side effects that are less common include muscle aches, especially if you're an athlete, headaches, rash, trouble seeing at night, hair loss, and worsening of your acne before it gets better. Some patients may become depressed on this medication, and there have been a few reports of suicide. This is a controversial issue, but it's important for us to discuss and for you to let me know if you notice any changes in your mood while on this medication. Finally, I ask my patients to get their blood drawn so that I can make sure that isotretinoin is not affecting their liver, triglycerides, or blood cells. It's also important to review all the medications and supplements you're taking, including protein shakes. This is starting to sound like one of those drug commercials I see on TV all the time with a bunch of side effects. Is, is there anything else I need to know? I know it's a lot of information, but stick with me here. One other important thing to know is that isotretinoin is a teratogen. A tarantula? What? <laughs> no, not a tarantula. A teratogen means that this medication causes birth defects. Whoa, I'm a dude. Why does that matter? I can't have a kid. This is something important to be aware of and a major reason why you should not share this medication with anyone or donate blood until one month after you stop taking this medication. It's also a major reason why the I Pledge program exists. I Pledge? Is that some type of Pledge of Allegiance to the medication you're talking about? What's going on? What is that? The iPledge program was developed to control the use of isotretinoin and to help prevent women from becoming pregnant while on this medication. Everyone who's prescribed isotretinoin in the United States has to be part of this program, regardless of your gender or ability to get pregnant. Wow, that sounds kind of complicated. Unfortunately, it is, but I'm here to help you walk through every step of it. In a nutshell, the iPledge program involves your doctor, me, the patient, you, the pharmacist, and an online website. So what can I do though to get on this medication to help myself? Well, as a male, you're lucky that this entire process is a whole lot easier for you than it is for females. Basically, you need to sign a consent form and then you get an information booklet with your iPledge ID card in it. After that, I can prescribe you isotretinoin for a maximum of 30 days. I then have to confirm you to receive this medication in the iPledge program. Then you can pick it up at the pharmacy. For a woman who can get pregnant, 
the process is a lot more complicated. Once a woman signs the consent forms and gets her information booklet and I pledge ID card, she will need to take a pregnancy test to prove that she's not pregnant. Then she will have to wait 30 days before returning for another pregnancy test and her first prescription of isotretinoin. During this 30-day waiting period, she will receive a letter in the mail which will provide her with the information to create her own online iPledge account. Once she gets her first prescription of isotretinoin, she will need to log into her account and answer some questions about the two forms of birth control that she is using, in addition to completing some quiz questions on birth control in general. She will then have seven days to pick up her medication from the pharmacy. Ooh, uh, I'm glad I don't have to worry about all those steps. I guess you're right, it sounds a lot easier for men. So when exactly can we get it started? I want to get rid of all this acting right here, like really quick. We can get started today. This portion of the video will provide females who can get pregnant with a brief tutorial of the iPledge program website. We will guide you through how to make your iPledge account and how to log in every month and demonstrate comprehension prior to receiving isotretinoin. After you sign the consent forms and take your first pregnancy test, your doctor will register you in the iPledge program. During this 30-day waiting period, you will receive a letter in the mail providing you with your iPledge user ID and temporary password, which is the information you will need to create your online account. Simply go to iPledgeProgram.com and type in the user ID and temporary password you received in the mail. You will then be prompted to create a new password, which should consist of a four-digit number. Next, you will be asked to enter a date of personal significance. This will allow you access into your account where you can find more information regarding isotretinoin, contraception, and the iPledge program. There is also a link that you can click on at any time to obtain the most up-to-date information regarding your status in the iPledge program. After waiting 30 days and after your second pregnancy test, your doctor may provide you with your first prescription of isotretinoin. You must then log back into your iPledge program account. Click on My Program Status. This will allow you to view the seven-day window you have to pick up your isotretinoin from the pharmacy. However, before you go to the pharmacy, you must first demonstrate comprehension. The first time you click this link, you will be prompted to input your primary and secondary forms of birth control out of a list of appropriate forms of contraception. You will then be asked to answer some additional questions about the education you may have received about contraception. Next, you will have to complete comprehension questions about isotretinoin, the iPledge program, and contraception. Once you have adequately answered these questions, you will be able to proceed to the pharmacy to pick up your prescription of isotretinoin. This can be further verified when viewing your program status which will now show that you are qualified to receive the drug. Remember, this process will need to be completed every month after receiving a prescription from your physician. You must complete these comprehension questions before your pharmacy may fill your prescription of isotretinoin. And remember to pick up your medication within the approved seven-day window. If you have any questions, please talk to your physician or refer to the iPledge program website. Thank you.